Hey guys, welcome to the 178th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use some preprocessor directives. So, all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button, and once you have it on your form, just go ahead and double click on it. Alright, so we've already learned two preprocessor directives without knowing it. The first is region, and the second is end region, which pretty much just go hand in hand. But anyways, remember with region and end region, you can basically just region off code. So if we just had a bunch of code in here, like, I don't know, and we didn't want to look at it, we could just minimize this right here, and we wouldn't have to look at that code anymore. And also, it just cleans up your code a little bit. So if you had, like, I don't know, 30 constructors or something, and you didn't want to look at all those, then you could just put them inside of a region. And you can also name your region. So if you wanted to just like name your region like your name or something now when you minimize it you'll see that it says that inside a little gray box instead of um just hash mark region all right so the next preprocessor directive that we're going to be looking at is define and define is used for basically defining a symbol and when you're using both define and undefine which we'll look at in a little bit you must do it before every other code so you can have preprocessor directives before it, such as the other defines and other undefines, but you can't have like using statements or namespaces or anything like that. So if we wanted to define a symbol right here, like Adam, we could do that. Um, I'll just call it Adam one. But symbols are basically used for if statements or preprocessor directive if statements, to be exact. So you can say like if something is defined, then do something else. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to also look at the undefined. So you can just do a hash mark and then undefine, and then undefine uh, a symbol. So undefine atom one, and now it just defines it up here, and then it undefines it. So if we were to say if uh, atom is defined, then it would be false since we undefined atom right there. But we're just going to delete that so it will be true. All right. So let's say that. If Adam is defined, then we just want to have um, a message box show saying my name. So let's say Adam is defined. Alright, and we can't just use regular if statements. We're going to have to use the preprocessor directive if statements. So we're going to want to put a hash mark and just put if. And then following that, we're going to want to put a symbol to see that we want to test. So is Adam1 defined? Yes, it is, because you can see this code right here. Uh, is it's not gray, but if Adam wasn't defined, if we were to go up here and undefine Adam, undefine Adam one, then this code becomes gray right here because it's unusable. It's not. This doesn't return true, so it'll never get to this code right here, and it's asking for more um, closed curly braces. But we're just going to put the end if inside of here so it would never get to this message box and it would actually get to these so we're just going to put right inside of here and if and now we'll just end this if statement and usually when you're using end if you're just going to want to put um, atom one to remind yourself what you're actually ending or what if statement you're uh, ending right here so if we were to debug it would never get to that message box that show code since um, atom is undefined Yep, it never got to it. But if we were to delete this undefined right there, it will get to this code right here and we'll get a message box to show. Yep, perfect. Adam is defined. And you can also do um, else if and else inside of here. So for else if, you would just do elif and else if, um, I don't know, something else is defined like. Bob one is Bob one defined. Then if Bob one is defined, then we're just going to have a message box show saying um, Bob is oops Bob is defined. But since this is else, it'll never get to it. Since once it says one is true, it will it'll just end it because that's the same with all else if statements. So once the first one is true, it'll just stop going there and won't get to the second one. So we'll just say Bob is defined. Bob is defined. But 
atom isn't defined. So if we were to undefine atom right here, just delete that, then we can see it'll get to this code since atom isn't defined, so then it'll go to this else if right here, and Bob is defined. And we can use else as well, so we can say else, and then we can just say, have a message box show saying um, nothing is defined. So the story here, nothing is defined. But since Bob is defined, it'll never get to this else right here. All right, and one more thing that I'm going to show you before we uh, end this tutorial is the errors. And um, you can basically just throw errors with these as well. So if you wanted to have an error do it, you just do um, a hash mark, and then you just put error, error, and then just the name of your error, whatever you wanted to call it, like Adam is defined. So if Adam is defined, we'll get an error. So if we were to go up here and define Adam 1, now we'll get an error saying Adam is defined. And you can also do warnings as well. So we can change this to a warning, and we'll get a warning saying Adam is defined. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial on preprocessor directives. So see you guys.